This is section objective 5 of module 1 year syllabus looking at the differences between information processing system, information processing. We said that manual system requires no technology to be used to convert data into information. And as an advantage of this, there's greater creativity in the data processing activities. And likewise, people are more inclined to work, to do things by their hand. Manual methods are simple, easy to use, not much training is required to do manual methods of information processing. So to, print the let to get the letters them typed up on a typewriter and put them in an envelope, seal the end of yourself, put a stamp on the envelope, that is manual information processing. But the problem with manual processing is that one, the speed of getting data to be processed, the inefficiency of carrying out data processing activity, and there is also need to protect the paper that the data is stored on. As it relates to automated information processing, with automated information processing, technology is being used to assist the processing of data into information. These include the use of machinery, like typewriters, computers, franking machines, ATM machine, any machine that is used in electricity or some kind of technology is being used to assist in the processing of data. <coughs> automated information processing, as it suggests, it's automated. Technology has been placed to work. The word automation comes to mind, and you need to therefore go and look up what the word automation means. With automation, technology, technology is being applied to replace human labor. So if you're a mail merging, you could use a computer to mail merge now. But one time, go to type every letter one by one and print them out one by one on a typewriter. With mail merge, you can automate. With automated information processing, such as mail merge, we find it very, very efficient to carry out data processing activities by using computers. So with mail merging, we can actually prepare a contact list or a data file that has in all the data that's going to be used, create a main file with the merge codes inside of it, and then combine them together to produce the merge letters or the merge documents. If you're doing this by using um, non-automated methods, then it might type the same letter over and over again and it's changing the address as you go along. And that might take a longer time for you to process the complete process of producing mail merge letters in case you're sending an application to 100 agencies or if you're inviting 100 persons to a function, you end up typing the same document 100 times. Automated information processing is much, much faster, much, much more reliable and also more convenient than the manual manual. System. Some of the benefits of using an automated system is that one, there is greater efficiency in retrieval of data. Queries can be used to extract data for a database based on a criteria or multiple criteria. You can carry out data updates much easier. Update query database. Update all female records by 5%. An update query can be run. And all records in the database are updated. The automated systems are more convenient sometimes. Because if you have to do the same letters every term, same persons every term, same labels every term, because those data are stored in a data file in Excel or Access, you could mail merge data over and over again. Because in automated methods in mail merge, for example, what we get is what is called data reusability. Data stored in a system can be used over and over again as long as the same data can be used. And even in mail merging, you can pick out the persons you want to mail merge to. You have to mail merge the entire class list. You could go through and select the persons in the mail merge database contact list that you want to send information to or to complete some mail merge activity for. So in automated information system, it's much more reliable. You can depend on them. It's much more convenient. You can set the photocopy to copy for you, copy back and front, um, copy two-sided, copy and staple, copy and sort, and you could leave the photocopy and go on to something in the meantime. Because unless people are stuck in the machine, it will copy and collate and staple for you automatically. So those are some advantages of automated systems. But the problem with them, when technology fails, we are now becoming like fish out of water. We can't operate anymore because we, are no, we have no automated system on which to operate. Automated system, when they fail, can cause loss of income, loss of revenue, and also can cause inconvenience in operations of data. 
The use of automated system can lead to danger to human life. What happens when they fail? An elevator is going up, a cable fails. Fails to stop. The doors fail to open. You're using a blowtorch and it explodes on you. Anything can happen with an automated system because these systems are, are have the potential to fail. Smoke detectors in the room can fail. We have to get person to come and inspect them periodically. With the fire extinguishers periodically because those are automated systems. The smoke detector must detect smoke inside here. If it's not detecting, we can burn the machines inside here. Extinguisher, when you press the lever, it's supposed to extinguish some carbon dioxide. Now, think about a horse and buggy carriage. Long time ago that. You know, a horse and buggy, woohoo! Yeah. But think about a horse and buggy carriage. There's no seatbelt in them to hold people when they're driving in it. And you know about tram cat. You know about, it's probably too young to know about tram cat. But with the tram cat that go up on the, 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 on the railroad, on the roads, like, um, in Los Angeles, they have tram cat runs, re, um, train cars, and run on the road. Tram cat that go up on the road, and you know, tram cat, you are jumping at tram cat because it's a jump up and down with you. There's no seatbelt. You could slip out of the car and hit your head or something. But all of today's cars carry seatbelt because they hold it down in the car, and the seatbelt has sensors on them. If the car jerks, and you go forward, the seatbelt is supposed to restrain you in the seat. But again, it can cause you to hang. That's why the seatbelt must all be worn to pack away. Small kids can't be in seatbelt. They are seat chairs. So for small children, they use chairs in them to hold the chairs under the seat to protect the infant from actually going out. We have to be careful about automated technology because the dependence on them increases laziness. For example, the escalator isn't working. You're not going to walk six other steps to go upstairs. Elevator not work. Imagine if you're in the Empire State Building, on those floors, or if you're on the Bank of Jamaica Building, and you have 15 floors to walk up to the top. You're not going to walk 15 floors. However, elevator is there. But then, you might be afraid of elevator. You might have claustrophobia. You might be fear to be in a small confined space. You might fear of it being trapped in the elevator. You might be afraid of the elevator failing to descend. Information system. <coughs> in manual information system, the components are collect, collate, analyze, present, disseminate. The components in the automated systems include input or data capture or data entry, process, for example, we analyze, sort, calculate, store, retrieve, output to present and disseminate. There's also the transmission of data and information in automated information system. In data, in automated system, in the manual information processing system, these steps must always be used in order. Collect, collate, analyze, present, disseminate. <laughs>